Hey guys, welcome to the chaos. So, this is a video that I wanted to gather more evidence or receipts on before I filmed, but I decided to go ahead mainly because someone in one of these apps is relentless and I'm honestly tempted to delete it because I don't know about you but I don't like getting these kinds of messages but um a couple weeks ago I was talking to one of my co-workers about well actually yeah it was about a dating gap because there was this guy on there who messaged me and he went to take pictures of my feet and was like I'll pay you come on let me take pictures of your feet I actually think I uploaded that camera that that brief conversation to Instagram if I find it I will insert it in the corner so you guys can see it and in theory I will be inserting the screenshots of these other conversations I'm gonna talk about because <clears throat> Well, just because. You, sometimes you just gotta see it to believe it. But basically, I downloaded this app. And it's not technically supposed to be a dating app. It's supposed to be an app to connect with people and have conversations with them. But just like Tinder and I think Hot or Not was hot for a minute. There's people that get on there just to hook up. And get often gotta filter through those types of messages. For example, when I first signed up on there, I got a message. It started out pretty cool. Hey there, how are you? I'm okay, you. You down to hook up sometime? Um, no. Like a FWB type thing. That was the last thing I said to him, but you know, that right there, I knew that I was going to get some, go at least a golden one. And I did get a couple golden ones. But before I get to that one, there was one where this guy sent me a picture. You guys can guess what that picture was of. And was like, want to give me head? And I didn't even flat out say no. I mean, I wasn't going to do it. But I was just like, LOL. And then he said... And then he... And then he said, I want to feel your lips wrapped around my, you know what. And then I was like, no, I'm good, thanks. I don't even know you like that. And he was like, it wouldn't just be a one-time thing. I'd come back for more and we'd become friends and hang out. And I was like, yeah, so long as I do that, right? And he was like, not every time we hang out, but not gonna lie. I'd love to, I won't go into detail here, but... Then he sent me another picture. But here's the kicker. Um, these types of apps are typically set up by your location. Well, a couple of days later, this dude walks into my store. And I was just like, oh, uh, shit. He didn't say nothing while he was in the store. But I knew it was him because he had some very distinguishing marks. Mainly piercings and tattoos that I knew it was him. But I didn't say nothing and he didn't say nothing. Well, he left, and then and then another conversation got started by the same person, and he was like, so, about that blowjob. And I was just like, no, not going to happen. But his account is gone, and I do have to say that he was cute in his profile picture, and he was a lot cuter in person, but I don't do that. Um, but the next one is the one that's a really kicker and I'm not entirely sure how much of this I'm going to be able to put out there. But, but it starts with, you horny? I'm like, no. And then he asks me, do you want to have your, you know, oral? I'm very good at it. And I didn't answer him. And then later that evening, he asked me again. Didn't answer him. The next day, what you doing? I will make you squirt. Ew. And then answer him. I mean, completely ignored him. And then, a few days later, hi there, sweetie. Sends one of those pictures. You know which pictures I'm talking about. And didn't answer him. And then, and then an hour later, it starts to get a little bit creepy because 
he goes, can I please eat you out just one time, please? And then sends another picture, which let me tell you, the picture that he sent was the same picture that he sent before. Like, he didn't even bother taking another picture, which, you know, I don't care whether he did or not because I clicked on it long enough for him to see that I opened it and then didn't respond to him. That would, you think that would be the hint, but no, because he goes, not one please, not two pleases, he asked three times, please, I will make you feel so good. I'm like, bitch, whatever. And I've actually deleted, I mean, this started June 23rd, it is July 12th, and I swear every other day he sends a message and I actually finally blocked him last night because I was seeing that there was going to be messages that I couldn't actually show without getting an R rating or something on here or anything like that and they were basically repetitive but this dude but for three weeks this got a message anyway not from him but for three weeks this dude has like basically be begging and I don't know that is kind of creepy and it's also a little extra creepy because this girl that I went to high school with well, I shouldn't say extra creepy I should say shady this girl that I went to high school with I seen her profile picture on Facebook which is an old account I don't think it's been you since 2014 but at the time that she had she was using this account she was dating and I know she has a kid by this guy who's not attractive at all to me but still I wasn't really exactly friends with her in school so I'm not gonna be like hey this guy he might still be your guy he might not be your guy but he needs to but he's overstepping his boundaries. I ain't gonna do that because obviously I don't know if they're together or not. Her status or anything don't say married or anything like that. I just happened to been clicking through, seen his pictures, clicked on it, and saw that they got a kid together. So at one point they were together. So that's kind of weird. But anyway, dude's a little creepy. He's been blocked. And that's actually all the creepers that I've got right now I mean but there was a couple more that I didn't really say like this one guy was hinting at that he was at work and he was getting a lunch break and he wanted to go do something but you know I tend to play stupid when it comes to that stuff to get out of even bringing up the conversation that is personally not something that I'm no just <laughs> just no but yeah, this was basically a kind of somewhat pointless video of me just sharing, just sharing the creepiness that is out there when you guys are doing on these online dating apps or even these apps where you're just supposed to hot or not, swipe right if you think they're hot, swipe left if you think they're not. Um... And then they can message you if you both swipe right. And, you know, you get some you get some shady ones on there. I actually think that's where I got the can't take pictures of your feet guy from. But whatever floats your phone. But my coworker apparently thinks I should let him pay me to take pictures of my feet. But I ain't doing that. I don't know what other ulterior or ulterior motives he had. You know, mm -mm, not today. But yeah. Leave some comments below. I know y'all have experienced some creepers. Leave me some comments down below and let me know your experiences. Let's let these fellas know that sending those kind of messages when you're trying to make a good first impression on a person. That is not the way to go, honey. But that's going to be the end of this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up because you love me. And subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully my next video will be a little more entertaining, informative, something of that sort. But you guys know what I'm going to say next. And that is, have a good day.